ever wanted to build your own rocket and send it hurtling towards space? The answer, of course, is yes. And every month, the members of the Queensland Rocketry Society get together and do just that. We're joined now by the president of the society, Ari Perainen, who's going to show us how it's done. G'day to you, Ari. Um, <clears throat> what propels these things? Yeah, good morning, Cam. Uh, yeah, they, uh, we use black powder for the low power, medium power. It's an AP. It's a similar to special boost. There's a lot of power behind them, and high power is the same. Okay, so what is the actual fuel? Uh, explain uh, how they actually work. I wish I could say it, say it properly, but ammonium perchlorate is the name. Um, and that's why it's called AP. It's easier to say. Yeah. There's a lot of power behind it. And you're, you're, you're going to demonstrate some very soon. Okay. Now, tell us um, what the Queensland Rocketry Society is. It's a, it's a group of like-minded blokes. At least we can only see blokes. Are there any women involved? Oh, there's a number of women in, in the club indeed and some launch also. We've got about 50 members at the moment. It's grown in last three and a half years uh, by tenfold basically and uh, it's growing monthly once people realize there's such a hobby to do and you can do it safely and legally right here at Queensland Rocketry Society. And what sort of altitude do these rockets reach? We've got actually at the moment in no time notice to aim in here to seven and a half thousand feet which is two kilometers which is very reasonable indeed and uh, the ones you see today are only going to go about uh, 1200 or 600 you know quite low but uh, high power rockets can reach incredible distances. All right. Um, I've launched one of mine to 12,000, actually. Wow, 12,000 feet. Obviously, that's a risk to aviation. You yep. have to be careful where you do this. Uh, and I, I guess you need special Absolutely. approval for those really high-powered rockets. But, Ari, we'd love to have a look at um, exactly how these things work. And, uh, of course, um, do you, yep. you, you have these things at home, don't you? You keep them in your lounge room. Uh, yeah, you, you I, really I, love I, the rockets. I got twenty here. Yeah. I've got 21 rockets at home, and I've got a wife, an understanding wife, who actually allows me to display. I've got a 3.9 meter rocket in the living room, yes. amongst many others, so it's wonderful. All but right. Does she ever put a rocket under you when you're not doing the housework? Oh, no, I'm trying to help. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. <laughs> All cool right, mate. Look, we're so keen to see one of these things launched. Uh, so, can you let one loose for us? Sure. All what right. Did, now, just describe what, what you've got. First. Yeah, we've got here Robin Austin. Um, son and father team, great rocketeers. He's launched 54 rockets already. And we got Lee and Alex and George. So what we're going to do is uh, do a low power first, then we've got to go two medium power rockets and then high power. George is launching a high power at the end. And we've just done the clear skies call, so everything's clear, no aircraft in the area. And if we do have a misfire, we'll just go into the next rocket. Um, because sometimes it happens and we say, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> yeah. That's usual. <laughs> so what we're going to do is count down each rocket just quickly for you. So, um, are you ready to launch? Good. Okay, All right. Ready to launch. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Wow. That's a low power. That's a, that's where everybody starts, and it still looks good. Okay, that, that was kind of uh, Guy Fawkes night power. That was just we, we see that sort of thing yeah, happening on Cracker Night. Yeah, that's about right, but it's, uh, you know, you can do it safely here and legally too, so that's wonderful. And now we're going to go a little bit more crackly. Mm -hmm. uh, Lee's launching a, crackly. Back, a black rocket there. Crackly, you'll hear it, you'll hear it. Okay, ready? Launching in five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Did you hear that? Uh, okay, <laughs> now we want to go straight to the big crackly. Uh, that was that was pretty impressive, but let's go straight to the big one. We're running out of time, Ari. Hey, uh, we're running out of time. George, please. Sorry, Alex. Sorry, okay. Alex. We're going to go for the orange one out there. <laughs> this is George. We might get a shot of Alex doing it later. Four, three, two, one. How good is that? That is fantastic. I'm going to... Can you make me an honorary member of the Queensland Rocketry Society, Ari? Absolutely. We'll give you a doctorate just to join. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. And Alex... Honor uh, honorary rocket scientist. That, absolutely. And uh, tell Alex uh, not to be too disappointed. We might come back and have a look at his uh, rocket in sure. uh, a little later segment of the show. But uh, right now, that would be you, That Leila. would be nice. Launching the rockets, that was good fun. Thank you. Yeah, very, very cool, Cam. That was great. Better than I thought it would be. I thought that was boy <laughs> stuff.